everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to quickly introduce to you what I have changed, what functions I have added for uh, version 1.1.0. Version 1 I have made enhancement on three functions, and all of them will apply to all three products. So if you have version 1.00, please update. So let me click OK for now. And see, this screen already shows you all the three things I have changed. First of all, the currency sign display. For this demo, I'm using an account that's uh, deposit currency is euro. So in the previous version, I have just used a simplified approach that whatever the currency is, I'm using a dollar sign to display. So in this version, I'm, I'm able to display the account currency if it's euro or British pound or Japanese yen or CHF. All other currency were using a dollar sign. Okay, so that's the first change. Second is when a value, when this area is, when there's no need to input anything, I'm making the background as a gray color. See here, here's Here's with input, here's without input. Same thing, no TP without input. This will be uh, grayed out. This way I think it looks clearer. The third thing, it's the most significant change, is I have added spread control in here. So not only the spread display and also spread control. Uh, the reason is for, uh, in terms of our order entry, knowing the spread is actually very important. So we can make a decision if we want to open it or not, depending on the spread. And also how quickly the spread fresh give you a sense how uh, active this market is. Third, this spread display actually tells you how, how much is considered one spread for the symbol you're trading. So here is 2.9. It shows for this currency, one for, for this symbol, one pip is 0 0.00001. Okay, if I attach this to gold, see here is display 33. So one pip for gold is actually 0 0.01 is one cent. So now, if you want to have a take profit of $5, obviously TP is 50 pips is not appropriate. You actually have to make it 500 pips. So with all of these, it's basically uh, this and these number combined shows you how much is considered one pip for this instrument. Okay, that's that. But the biggest reason I'm displaying spread is for spread control when order is entered. So if we look at our property, we have one added input, maximum spread allowed for entry. So if I'm a trader, I could decide when I open my trade, I do not care about the spread. In that case, here you input this as zero Okay, then you will you will notice that whatever the spread is, it always shows green. When it shows green, it means this is an acceptable spread. But if I do put a limitation to it, for example, three. So whenever spread is more than three, um, when it is three, it's considered maximum allowed. So it is still allowed. So when it is three, it, it will display as green. So when it's more than three, this will display as red. So at a quick glance, I can easily see uh, what spread is acceptable for me or what is not. So now when it actually opens trade, when the spread is in the, st in the state that's not acceptable, trade will not be opened. Meaning when this shows green, trade will not be opened even if you even if you click order entry. Let me make this a low number here. So this shows, this will update regardless if sub, sub panel is open or not. So when you open a panel, 
spread could be acceptable, but while you are adjusting, it could be turned to be not acceptable or vice versa. But EA will assess by the moment you click the entry button, okay? So, for example, if I click an entry button here, because I have told the EA anything more than two is not ac acceptable, so EA will tell you spread exceed maximum threshold, it will not attempt to open trade. So, of course, I think I should remind you again, if you do not want to impose spread control, then set the acceptable maximum spread is zero. Okay, one more thing is that we should not confuse between spread and slippage. And here, all we're talking about is spread, not slippage. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.